let's look at finding some more logs let's find log of 5 okay 5 divided by 3.16227766 this is equal to 1.58113 883 now this again 3883 divided by the next number in the 1 to 10 successive roots of 10 successive square roots of 10 so after 1.58 the next 1.33352143 1 we get 1. 1 Eight five six eight six eight five. Now one point one eight five six eight six eight five. We divide it by the next available log. The next available log is one point one five four seven eight one nine eight. Now this is equal to one point zero two six. Seven six two five one one point zero two six seven six two five one divided by the next available root, and that is one point zero one eight one five one seven two. This gives us. 1.0084572 divided by the next available successive root is 1.004507362 and this is equal to 1.0039321 Finally, we can divide this 93210 divided by 1.0022, 1.0225115. This gives us 1.0016727. Okay, I think that's the end of the line as far as available roots are concerned. Here I have gone up to 10 successive successive roots of 10 okay so now what we do is we look up we look up the logs of these so we look at log of this of this is 3.16227 is 0. 5 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.0625 0 0.0024 one more zero and then nine seven six five six now when we add it up we get zero point six nine eight two four two one nine so log of five is equal to zero point six nine eight two four two one nine now as per the calculator as per the calculator value is concerned let's look at so 5 log 2. it says 0 0.69897 0 9700 0, 0, 0. up to three decimal places of course if you want we can get it to be more accurate if we keep going further 
okay now because of this now we have log of 3 yes log of 3 we know in the last session we calculated we know log of 5 so log of 5 is as per our calculation 0 0.69824219 log of 3 is now let's go back and just 0.4765 as per our calculation 0 0.4765 0 0.4765 now if we want to restrict ours also to four digits we can do that now log of 15 would be what log of 15 would be log of 5 into 3 which is as per rules of log log of 5 plus log of 3 which is what 0.6982 plus 0.4765 which is 5 plus 2 7 8 plus 6 14 1 9 plus 7 16 17 1 11 1.17 now as per calculator what would it be 1 5 log 1.17 6 okay we can make it more accurate by going into more number of decimal places and going for more successive divisions with the existing logs by the way we know the rule of primes right in prime factorization any number any whole number basically can be written as a product of primes any number let's say 18 is what 3 times 3 times 2 this is 9 to 20 18 okay 24 can be written as 6 4 which is 3 into 2 into 2 into 2 so by just knowing the log of 3 and 2 we can find so many logs Similarly, 121, 11 times 11. So, 11 is a prime number. So, what we should focus on is finding logs of prime number. Okay. That's enough for today. Bye for now.